Welcome to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. Earlier in this video session, we had learned about the green leafy options in hydroponics. Today, we'll be learning about herbs options in hydroponics. So, herbs are some of our favorite crops to grow due to the outstanding flavor and aromas they pack into their typically small form factors. So, Let's move forward now. The first type of herb that is one of the best options for hydroponics is basil. There are dozens of basil varieties from spicy bush basil to lemon basil to Thai basil, all of which bring a delightful twist to any dish when paired well. Favorites are the classic sweet basil, Genovese basil and dwarf basil. This widely variable crop that produces large harvests and is so fragrant and delicious that you won't want to stop growing it once you start tasting them. Let's move forward. Now, these basils can be easily germinated from the seed. Their harvesting is prune apical merry stem to cue lateral growth. Then the yield is approximately 200 to 300 grams. It has a potential threat of pests that includes nematodes, aphids, thrips, flea beetles, white flies, snails, slugs, and the diseases include damping off, root rot, leaf spot diseases, fusarium wilt, and downy mildew. So you'll have to be very careful while growing basil and it requires a lot of care while growing it. Now the pH is from 5.5 to 6.5, EC is 1.6 to 2.2, PPM level has to be maintained from 800 to 1100. It requires light hours from 10 hours to 14 hours maximum and the temperature has to be between 18 to 30 degrees Celsius for it to survive and the ideal temperature would be 18 degree to 25 degrees Celsius. Next comes the germination to harvesting period. So after we germinate the seeds, we get seedlings in five to seven days. Then transplanting seedlings, it takes about three to four weeks. After transplanting, the first harvest is done between three to four weeks. And the second harvest is done after two to three weeks of first harvest. So, all in total, from germination to first harvest, it takes 7 to 9 weeks. The next kind of herb is chives. The common chives are the variety that are mostly used. The few other varieties like garlic chives and the Chinese chives are also available. Chives are a tough crop that will survive a wide range of temperatures and can even go without water for a while without impacting the quality. Chives are also fairly pest resistant, rarely infected with diseases and rarely are targeted by insect pests. It can be easily germinated from the seeds or from the root by breaking apart mature plants and replanting. Harvesting every 2-3 to three weeks by cutting the plants to 1-2 to two inches from the crown. Yield is approximately 200-300 to 300, uh, grams per harvest. And uh, pests, they are rare in it, but most common in hydroponic system are viruses and fungus gnats. So you'll have to be very careful because in hydroponic system we can easily get few virus attack or fungus attack to our roots in these plants. So you'll have to be very careful with this. The pH range is from 5.5 to 6.5, EC is 1.6 to 2.2, PPM has to be maintained between 800 to 1100. Light hours same, that is 10 hours minimum and maximum is 14 hours. Temperature ranges from 12 degrees to 30 degrees and the ideal temperature is 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. Now from germination to seedling it takes approximately 2 to 3 weeks. From seedling to transplant in our hydroponic system it is 4 to 6 weeks. After it is transplanted the first harvest is taken after 6 to 9 weeks and the second harvest is taken after 2 to 3 weeks. So all in total it takes 10 to 12 weeks for the first harvest after germination. The next one is cilantro. 
cilantro can be a tricky crop to grow since it bolts very easily. By bolt I mean it grows very quickly especially in hot conditions. If bolting is triggered, trim the bolts and adjust the environmental condition. Be aware that the flavor of the greens becomes more bitter and harsh once the plants has bolted. Growers can purchase slow bolting seeds to minimize the potential for crop failure. Now, the cilantro can be germinated from seeds. Harvest is completely cutting at the base of the plant and on the face of the tower. Yield is 150 to 200 grams. Pests include fungal wilt, leaf hoppers, and aphids. Diseases include power green mildew. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC has to be maintained between 1.2 to 2.0. PPM should be between 600 to 1000. Light hours again, 10 hours minimum, 14 hours maximum. Temperature ranges from 10 degrees to 28 degrees Celsius and the ideal temperature is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. After germination, it takes 5 to 10 days for the seedling to come out. Now, to transplant the seedlings to the hydroponic system, it takes approximately 3 to 4 weeks. First harvest after transplanting is within 3 to 4 weeks again. And the second harvest is after 2 to 3 weeks of the first harvest. So, all in total, it takes 7 to 9 weeks from germination to first harvest. Next, one of the best herbs is fennel. It is mildly sweet herb. Fennel is edible both as bulbs and greens. The greens may be harvested once before a full plant harvest a few weeks later. Fennel prefers a lower EC and a moderate pH. Though, fennel often proves drought tolerant heat tolerant and cold tolerant. It is not frost tolerant. I'll again repeat, fennel is not frost tolerant. Fennel rarely struggles with pests if it's kept healthy, although aphid infestations could affect the crop. Fennel has a wider range of germination rates from about 60% to 90%. Be sure to get very good seeds of fennel. It can be easily grown with the help of seeds. The first harvest only takes 30% of the greens. Take the full plant onto the second harvest. The yield is approximately 200 to 300 grams. And it has rarely a pest and disease attacks, but aphids and damping off are most common. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC has to be maintained between 1 to 1.8. PPM should range between 500 to 900. Light hours again, minimum 10 hours, maximum 14 hours. Temperature has to be between 12 to 28 degrees and the ideal temperature is 18 to 20 degrees. It takes 7 to 8 days to get the seedlings after germination. Then it takes 3 to 4 weeks to transplant it after the seedling comes. The first harvest is done after transplanting is approximately after 3 to 4 weeks and the second bulb harvest is done after 2 to 4 weeks. So, all in total, it takes 7 to 10 weeks for the first harvest after germination. The next comes mint. There are dozens of types of mint, but the main varieties are spearmint, peppermint, and penny royal mint. Some of the other mints, like lemon mint, are actually not mint at all. When mint is used in the kitchen, it's usually spearmint. Mint can be grown from seed, but using cuttings or rootstock is much quicker, especially on a commercial scale. From mint cuttings or clones, mints get roots out of it and grows to maturity within a few weeks. It can be easily germinated from seeds and from the cuttings or rootstock. Multiple harvest through pruning, the last of which the entire crop is harvested completely. Per harvest, the yield is approximately 200 to 300 grams. The pests, I would say they are occasional, vertical and built, and powdery mildew are the diseases here. pH should range between 5.5 or 6.5, EC has to be maintained between 1.6 to 2.6, PPM 800 to 1300, light hours, 10 as minimum and 14 as maximum. Temperature range is between 12 to 25 degrees Celsius. Ideal temperature is 18 to 20 degrees Celsius.
Now the germination to harvesting period is almost 8 to 10 weeks for the first harvest. Germination to seedling it takes approximately 10 to 15 days. 2 to 3 weeks has to be taken from seedling to transplant in our hydroponic system. First harvest takes 5 to 8 weeks from transplant and the second harvest takes 2 to 3 weeks after the first harvest. The next most important herb is oregano. Oregano is a small bushy herb with a strong unique flavor that's especially pungent when the herb is fresh. The leaves are used fresh and dried in most type of cuisines but especially Italian and French. There are three main types of oregano used for culinary purposes Greek, Mexican and Italian. Oregano has small rounded leaves that are fuzzy in some species. This makes it harder for them to deal with high humidity. So while growing it you'll have to be very careful with the humidity part in your controlled environment. It can be easily germinated from the seeds. Harvesting you get the multiple harvest through pruning and the last of which the entire crop is harvested completely. Per yield is approximately 150 to 200 grams. Pests include thrips, white flies, aphids, spider mites and leaf miners. Diseases affecting oregano plants are primarily caused by fungi. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC has to be maintained from 1.5 to 2.0. PPM has to be maintained 750 to 1000. Light hours has to be between 10 to 14 hours only. The temperature ranges from 12 to 28 degrees Celsius and the ideal temperature is 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. Now after germination it takes 7 to 14 days for seedling. Then to transplant it in our hydroponic system from seedling it takes 4 to 5 weeks. First harvest after transplant it takes 3 to 4 weeks and the second harvest after first harvest it takes 2 to 3 weeks. So all in total it takes 7 to 9 weeks for the first harvest after germination. The next type of herb is parsley. Parsley is a Mediterranean native used worldwide both as a garnish and as a popular addition to savory dishes. Several varieties of parsley exist from the more bitter and freely garnished parsley to the flavorful tender large leaves varieties. Though popular mostly as a cooking ingredient, parsley has been used in variety of ways from a medicinal ingredient to a symbol in ceremonies. Parsley tolerance of a wide temperature range and easy range make it an easy crop for farmers to add into a crop set. Large leaf varieties like Italian flat leaf grow is grown very regularly in hydroponics and should be planned on harvesting a lot of weight from the large plants which grow 12 to 8 inches from the face of the media or the substrate that you are using in your hydroponic system. So let's move forward. It can be easily germinated from seed. It has multiple harvests. It's common to harvest parsley twice before replanting. Its yield is between 200 to 300 grams. Pests and diseases are rare. The most common pests are thrips and aphids. pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC has to be between 1.4 to 2.4. PPM has to be maintained in the complete crop cycle from 700 to 1200. The light hours has to be between 10 to 14 hours only. Temperature has to be maintained between 12 to 30 degrees and the ideal temperature for parsley is 18 to 25 degrees to get very good growth. It takes almost 2 to 3 weeks for the seedling to come out after germination. Then it takes 3 to 4 weeks to transplant after seedling is done. Then for the first harvest it takes 5 to 8 weeks and the second harvest it takes 2 to 3 weeks after the first harvest. All in total it takes 10 to 11 weeks for the first harvest after germination. Next is rosemary. Rose Marinus officinalis belongs to the family Laniaceae, like many of our culinary herbs. Rosemary is a great fit for indoor farming because it can be very compact. Like its co-members of Laniaceae, that is lavender and thyme, 
rosemary prefers dry feet this means that growers should give roots a dry period between watering starting rosemary from seed can be finicky process the seeds need consistent moisture and germination rates that tend to be around 30 to 50 percent Growers are often better off propagating the plants from cuttings although some argue that best flavors and aromatics come from seed grown plants only let's move forward it can be germinated from seeds which is a little bit tricky propagation from clone is fastest and easiest harvesting multiple harvest are common through pruning yield is between 20 to 50 grams per harvest Pests and diseases are rare. The most common are botrytis and powdery mildew when overwatered. So be very careful while you are giving water to your plants. The pH ranges from 5.5 to 6.5. EC has to be maintained between 1.2 to 1.8. The BPM level of the nutrition has to be kept between 600 to 900. Light hours has to be between 10 to 14 hours only. Temperature ranges from 15 to 28 degrees Celsius for the growth, and the ideal temperature is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. It takes two to three weeks for the seedling to come out after germination. Then to transplant it from the seedling, it takes approximately three to four weeks. Then first harvest is almost after six to nine weeks after we transplant it in the hydroponic system. The second harvest is in two to three weeks. and it takes almost 10 to 12 weeks for the first harvest of the germination so here you can have multiple picking or i would say multiple harvest after the first harvest then after every 2 to 3 weeks you can continuously take multiple harvests today we learned this session here these are the most common herbs that can be easily grown in hydroponic system i hope now you have a clear picture about the types of herbs that can be easily grown in hydroponic system in our next session we will learn about the strawberry pod which is one of the best fruits that can be very easily grown in hydroponics so we'll be learning about it till then goodbye and have a nice day thank you